But the same free will, the experience of free will, is the greatest gift we have in order to prepare ourselves for the real purpose of human life, that is to seek who we really are and to find that out while we are still here in the human body. So that is why when we talk of how do you prepare for the spiritual path, the answer is the first step is to seek. First step is that you must find that where you are, what life you're leading is not, not the, what you want. So a man came to me once and he said, I am very happy and leading a great life. I enjoy myself. Why should I join the spiritual path? I said, you should not. You don't need to. You are happy. Go and enjoy yourself. After a week, he came back crying to me. He said, no, no, I have so much problems and so on. I have some moments of joy and pleasure, but most of the time, I have been disappointed in this, I have been disappointed in that. So we sometimes do not realize that the spirit in us, the soul, which is pure consciousness, it is not a form. Our real form does not have any form. It is a power of consciousness, which is the power to be aware, the power to become conscious of anything that it wants to be. That's the real self. That self is always seeking, automatically to seek where it originates from. So the seeker is built into us. If we ignore the covers upon ourselves, we'll find we are automatic seekers. The longing for truth, the longing for the spiritual reality, spiritual truth, is automatic in all of us. We don't realize it because of the big, thick covers we have put upon ourselves, the cover of the mind that thinks and attaches itself to outside things, to outside experiences, the desires that link us through the sense perceptions to experiences outside, the physical body that's a big, thick cover upon us that doesn't let us see who we are. The light is hidden inside. These covers upon us have made it even impossible for us to know that our longing for the truth has always been there. 